father-in-law Kaido's monster cells create the strongest beasts. 251. Conquer the Fishmen Island, the Mermaid Princess Shira Hashi, the masterpiece of God. Add Liu Xing led Marco and other captains of the White Regiment to the Fishmen Island. After Liu Xing comforted Neptune and others, he let the latter put down his worries completely. Liu Xing also brought some troops from the Hundred Beast Regiment and had them stationed around the Fishmen Island. Put the Fishmen Island fully under control. After Liu Xing left, Neptune sighed to Marco and others. I didn't expect you to take refuge with Lord Liu Crossing. Not only Neptune did not expect it, Jinbai was also extremely surprised. Because the relationship between the Bei Ituan and the Hundred Beasts is not harmonious, there is a lot of conflict between Lao Tzu Whitebeard and Kaido. A case in point is Kozuki's death on a rainy day. Dad regards Kozuki Eden as his brother, but Eden died at the hands of Kaido. There is such hatred, it stands to reason. In any case, the remnants of the white group should not vote for the beast group. A look of embarrassment appeared on the captain's face. Everyone 323 is an old friend. Jinbai used to be part of the Whitebeard pirates. Whitebeard and Neptune have been friends for decades. So everyone knows the bottom line. Bei Ituan took refuge in the former enemy, and it was a bit ugly to say it out. Diamond Joes clenched his fist and said, We are truly sorry Eden for making such a choice. 35. However, as long as you can avenge Daddy and Ace. As long as you can kill that bastard Teach, it's worth paying any price. Foil and the rest of the captains also shouted, Teach must die. To be able to do this, there are only beasts pirates and Lord Wu Wang Liu Oak Sing at the moment. Neptune and Jinbai immediately understood the reason why the captains of the White Regiment joined Liu Oak Crossing. It turned out to be all for revenge on Blackbeard, in order to avenge Whitebeard and Ace. Add, speaking of Blackbeard, Jinbai's face was also filled with murderous intent. If you're going to kill Teach, count the old man as one. Jinbai has great respect for Whitebeard also known as Father Whitebeard. He and Huokun Ace are even close friends. As the culprit in the death of Ace and Whitebeard, how can Jinbai not hate it? Previously, the reason why he didn't tell Liu Oxing these hatreds was because he joined the Hundred Beasts after all. Showing allegiance to Whitebeard again would be a bad idea. And now, the captains of the White Regiment also joined Liu Oxing's command, and Lord Liu Oxing also agreed to take revenge on Blackbeard. Jinbai has no scruples anymore. He's going to kill Teach with Marco and the others. Ha 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 as expected of Jinbai. I know you're not a coward. 35. Boss Jinbai, you have eaten dragon level monster cells too. Your breath is much stronger than before. Dragon level monster cells are really heaven defying. You, Captain Marco, Captain Jaws, and Captain Beaster, all at dragon level monster cells. Even if that bastard teach stole the ability of Dad Shock Fruit, it will definitely not be the opponent of the four of you. Four dragon level monster cells are enough to create four dragon level monsters. What's more, the four of them. Marco and Jinbai, are themselves the powerhouses who are arranged on the second layer of the pyramid in this sea. With the blessing of dragon level monster cells, it has already jumped to the first level of the pyramid. With the four of them working together, no top powerhouse will be their opponent. Not even the current marine martial at Ainu. But after all, they only ate dragon level monster cells not long ago. Strength also needs a certain amount of time to temper. Liu Xing has also sent someone out to inquire about Blackbeard's lair. The Fishmen Island became the site of the Hundred Beasts. There are Marco, Jinbai, Jaws, Beast and others guarded, alien pirates or guys with ulterior motives, don't even think about entering the Fishmen Island. And here, it is the only place to enter the new world, unless it's a marine, or capable of leaping the red line. Otherwise, ordinary people will not think about entering the new world through the Fishmen Island from now on. Add, this is equivalent to, the first half and the second half of the Grand Line are basically isolated. The era of the Great Pirates opened by Roger before his death killed by Liu Oxing intentionally or unintentionally. The weak and weak pirates are simply impossible to rise again. Even if the strength is not bad, only by joining the big forces can they barely survive. New world. It is the world of the hundred beasts and the big mum, with the hundred beasts as the main group. Only two forces remain. One is the red hair pirates huddled in their own territory. The other is the black beard pirates, whose exact location has yet to be revealed. Also known as the four emperors today. The first half of the Grand Line, dominated by the clown buggy. The power of Buggy Express is expanding rapidly. In a short period of time, the force surpassed any Shikibukai ever. The world thinks that, the throne of the ultimate One Piece will be born from these five forces. Even the remaining few Shikibukai, Hawkeye, Empress, and White too, are quite strong. When it comes to military strength, it is far less than the five major forces. Besides, among the three, Except for Bei Urshi, who is not very smart, neither Hawkeye nor the Empress have the ambition to become One Piece. Especially the Empress, now all she thinks about is Liu Oak crossing. In Liu Oak Sing's heart, of course, there has always been a place for the Empress. These few months, he took time to go to the daughter country once and deepened his relationship with the Queen. Just haven't gotten there yet. Liu Oak Sing is very gentle to the Empress. He would use the softest temperature to melt the thick ice that the Empress wrapped on the surface. When, 
Add, the world's number one beauty will completely belong to Liu A Crossing. Although the Queen Boa Hancock is known as the world's first beauty, the beauty of the mermaid princess, in the rumors, it is not weaker than the Empress. It's just that few people have ever seen a mermaid princess, because Shira Hashi was too timid. He basically lived in the palace all the time and rarely went out. And, she has also been threatened by Van Der Deacon, the target fruit ability, before. If you go out, your life will be in danger. Liu Xing, a traveler, knew this for a long time. He asked Jin Bai to get rid of that Van Der Deacon when he returned to the Fishmen Island. There is also a Hordi, a representative of the extremely aggressive Murlocs, trying to kill all humans. His end, of course, was tragic. Jin Bai, whose prestige and strength were far above him, was thrown into prison. Moreover, Hodi had taken dozens of poisonous medicines before, which seriously overdrawn his life. It is now 5.4 with grey hair, and there is not much time left. Now the Fishmen Island, there is no threat from outside or inside. Shira Hashi is free to play under the sea. But Shira Hashi was too timid. She heard that today's superhero, Yu Wang Liu Oxing, will come to the Fishmen Island. He hid in the palace in fear and did not dare to come out. Shira Hashi hid in the room alone, and in his big innocent A's, full of curiosity. What kind of person is Liu Oxing, whom the Jin Bai boss admires? Yeah, I'm so curious, but people don't dare to see him. Shira Hashi covered his face. Liu Oxing happened to arrive at Shira Hashi Palace at this time. Shira Hashi's whispers were heard. He looked at Shira Hashi's pink fish scales and tail and his skin as delicate as snow. Cannot help expressing sincere admiration, it is truly a masterpiece of God. 252. The big bad guy Liu Oxing, Shira Hashi was scared to cry, the breeding problem between humans and mermaids. Add, Liu Oxing is standing behind Shira Hashi. From this angle, he could clearly see the graceful curves of Shira Hashi's back. The shoulders are shaved and the back thin, until the tail is perfectly curved. The pink fish tail and scales reflected colorful brilliance under the sunlight. Gorgeous. Unbelievably beautiful. Liu Xing praised. He couldn't help reaching out and stroked Shira Hashi's fish tail. The multicolored scales are extremely smooth, comparable to the skin of Xiaozi who has eaten the slippery fruit. Fantastic work, God's most beautiful masterpiece. Liu Xing sincerely praised. And the temperature from the fish's tail, and the man's voice that suddenly sounded in his ear, finally let the unresponsive Shira Hashi wake up. There are other people in the room. Yeah. 35. Shira Hashi, who was extremely timid, immediately screamed in fear. Who? Who is talking? Who? Are you a bad guy? 35. Liu Xing originally planned to reveal his identity. But seeing a little pitiful appearance, especially the cry with a cry, it really makes people involuntarily have the full desire to bully. Liu Xing's mouth twitched, playful. He coughed, his tone suddenly serious and menacing. Don't look back, don't look at me, and don't move. Shira Hashi was about to turn his head to look at Liu Xing, when his tender body was instantly frightened. The fish's tails are shaking. You. You are really a bad person. Who? I won't move. I won't look back, don't kill me. Poor Shira Hashi's crying pear flower was raining, and he dared not move. This facilitated Liu Oxing, who continued to gently stroke her smooth fish tail. Be good, be obedient, I won't hurt you. Liu Oxing felt like a strange uncle who bullied the little girl at the moment. But I have to say, this feeling is really a bit strange and exciting. Especially the object of bullying is such a unique mermaid princess in the world. Regardless, Shira Hashi is more than 10 meters tall, much taller than Liu Oxing. Add. But Shira Hashi's heart is definitely more innocent than a simple little girl. Shira Hashi endured the tickling from the fish's tail. Pretty face became very red. But more than that, it was fear. You. Who are you? Shira Hashi asked in fear. Liu Xing's big hand came to the place where the fish tail and Shira Hashi's back were connected. This part is equivalent to the second face of a human woman. Importance and face are the same. Although Shira Hashi is a mermaid, she is no less than a human woman in this respect has a breathtakingly beautiful arc. It was like falling from a mountain to a valley. In an instant, Liu Xing couldn't put it down. Long after this, the mouth is Kaido pretending to be a threat. Well, hey, I'm Vander Deacon. Hear the name of Vander Deacon, Shira Hashi immediately turned pale, and his face became very pale. Her delicate body trembled even more. Apparently Vander Deacon once left Shira Hashi with death threats, let the latter still leave a great shadow in his heart. Vander Deacon, no dot 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 impossible. Didn't you get kicked out by Boss Jinbai? 35. The fate of Vander Deacon was not as simple as being driven away, but directly killed. But in such a case, of course, there is no need to tell the simple truth of Shira Hashi. Otherwise, with the goodness of Shira Hashi, maybe even sympathize with villains like Vander Deacon. Liu Xing said happily, I was driven away by Jinbai, but because I liked you too much, my ghost came back for you. Little Shira Hashi, you can't escape my palm. You. Ghost? Shira Hashi's beautiful eyes revealed endless fear. She folded her head in her hands and said with tears, Woo woo, what are you trying to do? Stay away from me, okay? 35. What do you want to do? Add, Liu Xing seems to have really taken the role of Van Der Deacon, suddenly took a step forward, 
He grabbed Shirahashi's slender waist violently, although Shirahashi is huge. His waist is very thin, under Liu Oxing's arms, he could easily hug him. Ah! Let me go, let me go, woohoo! 9. Shirahashi cried, desperately begging for mercy. Goosebumps arose on her snow-like skin, because this is her apart from her father Neptune. It was the first time I was so close to another man, especially that Bardas van der Deacon. Shirahashi is really about to faint with fear. Don't move, don't scream, otherwise terrible things will happen. 99. The timid Shirahashi believed it, covering his mouth. He really didn't dare to cry out. Only the trembling body and the bloodless cheeks. It showed the fear in her heart. Liu Xing is also a bit addicted to being a bad guy. He glanced at the sky. It should be evening now. The reason why the palace here is so bright is because of the light reflected from the sea water outside and around the palace. There are still many night pearls hanging. Liu Xing covered those luminous pearls with something. At the same time, the curtains around the palace were pulled down, blocking the light from the outside world. The interior of the palace suddenly dimmed, and it became invisible. Shirahashi's beautiful eyes were terrified. She was timid, in such a dark environment. It even made her fear infinite. It's over. Are they going to be killed? Wu Wu, Lord Father, Lord Brother, Lord Jinbai, who are you to save me? Shirahashi covered his mouth and made a whimpering sound. That pitiful appearance really made me feel pity. Liu Xing's cold and hard voice softened. Don't be afraid, I won't hurt you. Add, come, let's sit down and talk. Liu Xing actually wanted to hold Shirahashi in his arms. However, Shirahashi is too big to sit on his lap. Liu Xing is very dissatisfied with this. If you can't hold a woman in your arms, it's a lot less fun. He decided that in the future, he had to invent a prop that would allow people to freely grow and shrink. 323. This can make Shirahashi smaller, and he can also make himself larger. It would be interesting to think about. Let's not talk about the future, just talk about the present. The timid Shirahashi, in the darkness, he was held by Liu Oxing and sat on the edge of the bed. Shirahashi covered his mouth and trembled. Can you open the curtains? People are afraid of the dark so scary, that won't work, Liu Xing's breath appeared beside Shirahashi's ear, you, you really are a bad person, and you lied to me just now that you won't hurt me, Wu Tilda, Shirahashi cried so sadly, tears are like pearls, dripping on the ground, forming a torrent, Liu Xing was ashamed, if Shirahashi was allowed to cry like this, it might not be long before the palace would be submerged, Liu Xing said with a rough voice and a stern tone, don't cry, or the whole the fishmen island will suffer exclamation mark 99. What? Is he going to hurt the whole the fishmen island? No, absolutely not. People don't cry, just don't cry. The kind Shirahashi never wanted to see that the fishmen island was hurt because of her. She desperately held back the tears, otherwise the tears would fall. Liu Xing breathed a sigh of relief. The voice softened again, said it won't hurt you, don't be too scared, little Shirahashi. I just wanted to talk about the biology of humans and mermaids, how to breed the next generation. 95. 253. Playing games with Shirahashi, Ivankov wants to turn Sanji into a Shemail, add, this night, Liu Xing and Shirahashi had a profound exchange of cross species, how to breed, Liu Xing also studied Shirahashi's body structure by the way, why can Shirahashi become a Poseidon, her mother's body is obviously very thin, why can Shirahashi grow to more than 10 meters tall, these questions are very profound, Liu Xing had to study very carefully, oh, you said that since it is research, why should the curtains be drawn down, how to research in the dark, then you don't understand, with Liu Oxing's current level, even with only a faint light, he could clearly see the whole of Shirahashi, not to mention, even if the eyes can't see, don't they still have hands, in many circumstances, feeling with your hands is much better than seeing with your eyes, poor little Shirahashi, sitting on the bed tremblingly, neither screaming nor crying, the pitiful appearance, even the Iron Man, has to be tender, Liu Oxing felt that Shirahashi couldn't be scared too hard, Otherwise, Shirahashi will cause a psychological shadow that is difficult to heal. That would be worth the loss. When he fully understood Shirahashi's whole body structure, and solved the puzzle of how humans and mermen reproduce, Liu Xing confessed his identity. A! Eh? Exclamation mark. Shirahashi, who was still terrified just now, immediately stared at his eyes bigger than gems. She looked at in shock, the handsome and handsome man who finally appeared in front of her. You dot 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 you're not Vander Deacon, you're the one the boss Jinbai said dot 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 the Lord Liu Xing. 99. Liu Xing admits with a smile, it's me, little Shirahashi, don't be afraid, I just played a game with you, add, it's a secret between us, don't tell anyone else, Shirahashi's mind was still a little confused, hearing Liu Xing say what just happened, it's all just playing games, Shirahashi blushed and lowered his head shyly, do you want to play a game all night, and draw the curtains, it's too embarrassing, not knowing what Liu Xing said, Shirahashi, who was timid, shy, and scared, suddenly laughed, Shirahashi is very simple, like a pure and flawless white paper, she heard Liu Xing's name from Jinbai, and knowing that the further and the king decided to take refuge in the man in front of him, 
The future of the Fishmen Island is bound to this man. The person who can be trusted by Jin Bai's old Yamato's father, Wang, must be a good person. Plus Liu Xing is very good at dealing with women. A few words have completely gained Shirahashi's trust. All kinds of absurd behaviors last night were also turned black and white by Liu Xing, and turned into a secret little game between the two. Shirahashi believed it to be true. Promise not to tell anyone. And this kind of game can only be played with Liu Crossing. The two even pulled their little fingers, and the hooks were not allowed to change for a hundred years. Certainly, Shirahashi stretched out his little finger, Liu Xing his whole palm. Somewhat embarrassing. Liu Xing decided to immediately develop props that can make people bigger and smaller. Anyway, there are arbitrary gates. It is extremely convenient to travel to and from Wanokuni. Liu Xing can instantly reach the territory of any beast group. He takes out any door. Curious Shirahashi also wanted to experience it. Liu Xing has nothing to do with it. With Shirahashi, they came to the island of Wanokuni. Liu Xing entered the laboratory directly. His laboratory is now the top secret place of the hundred beasts. Add. The daily escort is under the responsibility of the scientific force led by Plague Quinn. Inside the laboratory, the little secretary Garrett is in charge. Garrett. The little maid who has followed Liu Oxing since he conquered Zhu. It is natural to have the identity of a little secretary. Ah, what a beautiful mermaid, Karukyu. Tilda. Garrett's eyes flashed when he saw Shirahashi. Running to Shirahashi's side and rubbing around. Although the fur tribe is covered in hair, unexpectedly, they are very fond of creatures without hair. Shirahashi is basically hairless except for his eyebrows. The smooth pink fish tail is even more poking at the hobby of the fur tribe. Garrett is very curious about Shirahashi. Shirahashi is also curious about Garrett. It's itchy. Itchy, ha ha ha. Although the two women met for the first time, but they were both pure and simple, and they soon became good friends. He he play together. Liu Xing smiled. Let Garrett and Shirahashi play and do his research. At the same time, Monkey D. Long, the leader of the Revolutionary Army who chose to give up Paul Digo, the headquarters of the Revolutionary Army, was chosen in the country of the Shemal King Ivankov. With Ivankov's urine, of course all the citizens of this country are Shemals. But when Ivankov returned to the kingdom, but unexpectedly found a man who is not a Shemal, the man was handsome with blonde hair, curly eyebrows, and black leather shoes. A wicked smirk suddenly appeared on Ivankov's face. The fingernails on his hands stood up. Good skin, such a handsome little brother. Being a great Shemal is your right path. Don't. What do you want to do? Help. An unprecedented fear appeared in the eyes of the curly-browed man. The fear was even stronger than in the Sabadi archipelago. Dot this is hell. Absolute hell. Damn tyrant bear. Why did you send Lao Tzu here? 35. Add. Curly eyebrows a black-footed Sanji Ru's younger brother. When in the land of Sebadi, Bartholomew Bear took the entire straw hat crew away. Except for Laffy, the places that other people photographed are the same as in the original. The unlucky Sanji inevitably came to Shemal Island. To say, Liu Xing once said to Ru that he is a confidant who shares common interests with Sanji. Then mingle, Liu Xing embraces the world's unique and unparalleled mermaid princess. In front of Sanji's eyes, there are only monsters everywhere. In contrast, the two. Sanji is so pathetic, not only pitiful, but also desperate. Life is better than death. At least since knowing that his place is Shemal Island, Sanji's face has always been ashen, sluggish dead fish eyes, a look of death. All right all right. What? Ivankov, who was about to turn Sanji into a Shemal, stopped when he heard Sanji's roar. You're saying dot 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 that the bear photographed you here? So what? Sanji cried out in grief. If he really turned into a Shemal, he would definitely hit him to death. Farewell. Luffy, I can't help you become the Pirate King. What's your relationship with the Straw Hat Boy? Sanji, who was looking at death as if he was at home, said loudly as if he was making his last words. Luffy is my captain, and I'm the black-footed Sanji of Straw Hat Crew. So you are the companion of the Straw Hat Boy, Gong. After Ivankov was surprised, he approached Sanji and said with a smile on his face, It's really a flood that washed down the Dragon King Temple, and the family is still a family. Come on, become a Shemal, and become our family completely. Sanji's eyes were bulging out and he shouted desperately, don't come here. 254. The potential of the Vinsmoke bloodline, Sanji realizes moonwalk. Death winks, add, don't come here. Sanji screamed in panic. Although he just had an expression that looked like death, he didn't really want to commit suicide. There are so many beauties in the world that he has not seen. And the legendary mermaid, the great beauties of the new world, he was not able to feast his eyes. How could he just die like this? Ivankov had a smile on his face that made Sanji feel the chills. Don't be afraid, little Sanji. The straw hat boy's companion, turning into a lady boy is the greatest surgery in the world. Relax, my ability will make this process without a trace of pain. As a hormonal fruit person, Ivankov can change a person's external characteristics at will. It really doesn't make anyone suffer at all. Except fate, dear Blackfoot Sanji. Ivankov lunged at Sanji sharply. Sanji's pupils revealed infinite fear. With trembling lips, he said, the greatest surgery, clearly the most evil in the world. 39. I am a man who loves only real ladies in my life. 
and I will never accept such a fate. Ah. I want to escape this hell. At this moment, Sanji exploded with unprecedented potential. Boom. The chains that bound him were actually snapped by him. Escape. Escape this hell. Real ladies, are still waiting for me to hug 323. Sanji freed from bondage, without hesitation. He turned and ran away, fleeing desperately. Oh? A sudden burst of potential. 35. Ivankov's eyes flashed, showing a bit of surprise. As expected of the Straw Hat Boy's companion. There seems to be something unusual about this boy. Ivankov didn't really want to turn Sanji into a Shemal just now. After all, don't look at the face of the monk and look at the face of the Buddha. Add, knowing that Blackfoot Sanji is Luffy's partner, just in the face of the dragon, there's no way he could treat Sanji like that. Thank AI, more just to scare Sanji. Unexpectedly, this Blackfooted Sanji's potential exploded, and he broke free from the chains and ran away. A tinge of interest rose in Ivankov's mind. He wanted to see how great the potential of this straw hat boy's companion was. Ivankov glanced at the dozens of Shemuls around. These are his subordinates, is the backbone of the Shemal kingdom. Both Grand Master Shemal Fluidart, Ivankov chuckled and said, Little ones, whoever catches the black-footed Sanji, the old lady will reward him. As soon as this word comes out, suddenly, it caused a huge sensation among dozens of human monsters. Sanji is undoubtedly a handsome guy, and, Bife, fits the aesthetic of their gang very well. They've been ruling over Sanji for a long time. Ivankov's voice just fell. They couldn't wait to chase after Sanji. Little brother, wait for someone. What are you doing running so fast? Brother Heizu, people like you so much, can you marry them? 95. Sanji, who was running, had goosebumps all over his body. He looked back subconsciously. I saw that the people who called his little brother and brother just now were all big five. Three rough, oily and flowery shemels. Vomit Tilda. Sanji couldn't help retching. The feeling of aversion to cold in my heart reached its peak in an instant. My eyes. Sanji can't wait to buckle his eyes, delete the scene he just saw. Sanji burst into tears. I must be dreaming, how can there be such a terrible place in this world? It is more terrible than hell. But the approaching shemels, but clearly told Sanji, add. He is not dreaming, everything is happening. Brother Heizu, come, come to the arms of others. Call out. Suddenly, a shemal several meters tall, with a waist thicker than a bucket, with a beard, but his face covered in thick powder, accelerated his speed, and instantly blocked Sanji in front of him. This person is the leader of Ivankov's command, and his strength can be called powerful. Not the current Sanji can match. Sanji's A's cracked. It's not that I'm afraid of the strength of this shemal. But it is simply the fear of its existence itself. Go away. Don't appear in front of Lao Tzu. 99. Sanji closed his eyes sharply. Let out an angry roar. The Shemal laughed more and more tremblingly, and said with saliva, Brother Heizu, your temper is quite strong, people like you the most. Vomit. Sanji finally couldn't help but vomit. Come on, baby. Come and feel the embrace of the old lady. The Shemals before and after rushed towards Sanji together. The muscles in Sanji's face were twitching. The bile is about to come out. But... He must not admit defeat, must not be caught by these guys who shouldn't exist at all. Otherwise, that hurts him more than killing him. Ah! I'm leaving this hell. The grief-stricken Sanji let out a roar. Start running. Dong dong dong. In an instant, the power of the Vince Smoke bloodline is once again inspired. Sanji actually ran, stepped on the air, and ran to the sky. This is Moonwalk. Ivankov, who had been following Sanji's situation, was quite surprised. Although Moonwalk is just one of the Marine Six styles. There are quite a few pirate clubs in New World, Add, but this skill is not so easy to learn. Want to train hard for years and months. No one in the Shemal Kingdom can moonwalk, including him Ivankov. Actually, it is the top powerhouse in this sea, and there are only a few people who know moonwalk, such as the four emperors aren't, such as Marine's original three Admiral Akainu, Aokiji, Kizaru. It's not that they can't practice moonwalk, but they are as powerful as monsters, their main cultivation direction is to develop fruit ability. There is not much energy to practice physique. After all, you can only cultivate Marine 6 styles to a very advanced level, such as the level of the boss of CP0. To have the world's top combat power. This is too much waste of energy and time for them who have powerful fruits themselves. Why stay near and far? This is the reason why fruit powers rarely practice Marine 6 styles. Moonwalk is not a rare ability. But really not every strong person will use it. And black-footed Sanji, from the original bounty of less than 100 million ordinary pirates, in the process of running, I realized Moonwalk in an instant, which must be said to be a miracle. Interesting, Blackfoot Sanji, I'm really getting more and more interested in you. Death wink. Ivankov's head suddenly became enormous. He winked at Sanji who was running in the sky. Hum. A powerful shockwave emanated from Ivankov's eyes. Sanji, who was so excited that he realized Moonwalk and finally escaped from this place. Unexpectedly, Ivankov would suddenly send out shockwaves. He couldn't dodge and was beaten down. Got caught by Ivankov again. Ivankov licked his lips and said, 
Blackfoot, don't you really want to be like us? This is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. Sanchi closed his eyes tightly. He dared not look at Ivankov, for fear of leaving the memory of Ishamal in his mind. Skills are not as good as others. You dot 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 you kill me. 255. Straw Hat Luffy's mentality collapsed. Nothing compared to Liu Xing. Add. It's better to die than to become a Shemal. Looking at Ivankov's outstretched fingers, Sanji resolutely thought. He's going to bite his tongue and kill himself. Pfft ha ha ha. Just when Sanji was about to find himself short-lived, Ivankov suddenly covered his stomach and laughed, tears welling up. Boy with curly eyebrows, you are really cute. My mother just scare you. You actually want to commit suicide. 5. Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. By the way. Does being a Shemal really make you resist so much Tilda? Ivankov's laughter made Sanji a little dazed. Sanji exclaimed angrily, What the hell do you want to do? Well, don't get too excited, Ivankov said. It was just a joke with you just now, you are the companion of the straw hat boy, how could I hurt you? Sanji frowned. The Shemals who grabbed him beside him, also under Ivankov's gesture, let him go. Sanji rubbed his sore shoulders and frowned. You know Luffy? Who are you from Luffy? Ivankov flirted with Sanji as well so he stopped hiding, and tell the truth, my mother's name is Ivankov, she is the king here and the carder of the revolutionary army, if you want to be the companion of the straw hat boy, you should also know that the leader of our revolutionary army, Long, is the father of the straw hat Luffy, Sanji does know that the dragon is Luffy's father, this, of course, did not come from Luffy's mouth, but from Luffy's grandfather, Marine here Garp, turn out to be, after the straw hat crew made a fuss about the Anais lobby, Gup went to meet Luffy once, Ad, and told his own father is the revolutionary dragon. Not only Sanji knew about it, but the sailors with Gup also heard it. In this case, it quickly spread within Marine, caused a small impact. Actually, Marine executives, and world government executives, for Gup is the father of the dragon and the dragon is the father of the straw hat Luffy, already knew. After all, from the name alone, you can easily guess the tricks. Just between Gup's hero status and Sengoku's cover, Marine High and World High, no one handles Gup but not anymore, because the current Marine Marshal, Seikazuki Akainu, is a guy who upholds absolute justice. Akainu doesn't really like Gup, although without the orders of the Five Elders, he couldn't do anything to Gup. But at least inside Marine, Gup doesn't want to be as unscrupulous as Sengoku was during his reign. Disputes within Marine are not to be mentioned. It's just that Sanji listened to Ivankov's words and immediately understood the relationship. He breathed a sigh of relief. Immediately and nervously, he asked, Luffy, do you know where Luffy is now? At Seibadi Archipelago. The tyrant bear slapped the entire straw hat crew away. Sanji hasn't had time to inquire about the whereabouts of the other companions. Ivankov said. Don't worry, Sung is actually a carder of the revolutionary army, and he is here to save you. The bear took the straw hat's mind directly to Baldigo, and now he was followed the main force to this island. Sanji was overjoyed. Didn't expect to see Luffy soon. He exclaimed impatiently, take me to meet Luffy. Ivankov sighed and said, add, of course I'm taking you there, hoping you'll cheer up the straw hat boy. 39. What? Cheer up, did something happen to Luffy? Sanji suddenly remembered. That time, that devilish man, knocked him off easily and slashed at Luffy. Luffy must have been seriously injured even if he survived. Could it be that Luffy was psychologically shadowed by that five emperor Liu Oxing? Sanji couldn't help but think so subconsciously. Being almost killed by that devil-like man, who could not have a psychological shadow. Ivankov said bitterly, five emperor Liu Oxing, that nasty guy has indeed caused irreversible scars to the straw hat boy. Liu Xing's cut at the straw hat Luffy was a cross cut. A deep X-shaped scar was left directly on straw hat Luffy's chest. This scar can never be healed by any means. In the original, straw hat Luffy also has this scar on his chest, which was burned by Ake Ainu with lava. And this plane, although he was not able to participate in the summit war, but the scars are inevitable, the same. Fate is so strange sometimes, Ivankov's voice continued. But after the dragon's all-out rescue, the straw hat boy finally came back from the gate of hell. But the news of his brother, Firefist Ace's death, made him collapse again. Ask for flowers. Yes, since going to sea, no matter what danger you encounter, even if you are about to be beheaded, the straw hat Luffy, who always kept a fearless smile, during this time, it has been in a state of collapse. There are three main reasons for Luffy's state. One was almost killed by Liu O'Crossing. That casual sword, that irresistible black sword wave. Add, let Straw Hat Luffy experience what Anand is for the first time in his life. The second reason is the death of Ace. The third reason is the disappearance of Sanji and other companions. Three huge blows in a row. The Straw Hat Luffy, who was always cheerful and smiling, couldn't take it anymore. Even with the guidance of Dragon and Rayleigh, Straw Hat Luffy still looks confused. Now, inside the newly established Revolutionary Army headquarters on Shemal Island, Pluton Rayleigh looked at Luffy in a stray hat. Compared with the figure of Liu Oxing in my mind, the incomparably firm belief in the past could not help but shake. The successor of Captain Rogers Will, the person who entrusted the straw hat to Shanks, the owner of Nika Fruit, 
the clan of the D family. Could it really be the Joey boy who changed the world? No one really faltered for a moment. It really is the straw hat Luffy at this time, compared with Liu Oxing. The five emperors who can already compete with him dignified Pluton against conquerors, there is no advantage at all, and it can even be said to be useless. Especially now, I don't even have the fighting spirit to forge ahead. How else to be Joey boy? However, Rayleigh's shaking was only for a brief moment. He had to believe, and only Luffy. Otherwise the future world, under the situation that the forces of the hundred beasts are becoming more and more terrifying, is there still hope? Cheer up, Luffy, and don't let Shanks' expectations go to waste. Luffy was startled. I remembered the arm that the red-haired Shanks had broken to save him. But, Ace died, and I, I couldn't even save him. 99. The past is irreversible, we can't let Ace die. Sabo grabbed Luffy's shoulders and said loudly, it must never happen again, so, Luffy, we're going to be stronger, you understand? Gwen. 256. The teaching of the dragon and Rayleigh, the green bull is the fruit of the Logia forest. Add, Sabo. Luffy hugged Sabo tightly. The three brothers who were righteous at a young age, Sabo was the first to go out to sea and later disappeared. Luffy and Ace, always thought Sabo was dead, did not expect. Not only did Sabo not die, but he was actually saved by Luffy's father. Second in command in the Revolutionary Army. It's great that you're still alive, but Ace he. He, straw hat Luffy burst into tears tears streaming down his face. Sabo was also full of sadness, clenching his fists tightly and said, not being able to save Ace is the most regrettable thing in my life. However, I will inherit Ace's will. Protect you with my life, Luffy. So, you must cheer up, turn your remorse for Ace into motivation and become stronger. Straw Hat Luffy is touched. He gritted his teeth and moved. Sabo. At this time, 323, the Shemal King of Ankoff arrives with Sanji. Luffy, although you lost your brother, you still have our friends. Sanji said with a serious expression. You promised me that you would help me find Al Blue and become the Pirate King. 5. Are you a man without words? The arrival of Sanji shocked the straw hat Luffy. It reminded him even more that he still has a group of partners, who are now on different sides. Yeah, I still have company. I still have the brother Sabo. I can't be down. Straw hat Luffy being Destiny's child makes some sense. He has the indomitable spirit and the courage to die. After repeated solutions by Rayleigh, Sabo, Sanji and others. Straw Hat Luffy is finally out of the shadow of Ace's death. I want to become stronger. Become the strongest. Never let anyone hurt my companions again. 5. Add. The expression on Straw Hat Luffy's face became more determined than ever. See. Both Dragon and Rayleigh breathed a sigh of relief. Both actually bet their futures on Luffy. Although Long has his own revolutionary army. But the overall strength of the revolutionary army is far from the world government. Till this moment, there are fewer than 10 countries that the dragon is sure to overthrow. Compared with the participating countries of world government, this amount is a drop in the bucket. He has also been looking forward to. Luffy, who ate the fruit of Nika, can help him change the world. Not to mention Rayleigh. Luffy was wearing Roger's straw hat. Someone Shanks liked. Rayleigh certainly hopes. Luffy is Joey Boy 800 years ago. At the moment, Straw Hat Luffy Perk, Rayleigh no longer waited any longer, and took the initiative to teach Luffy to practice. In the current world situation, there is really not much time for them. First practice, naturally, it is the Haki aspect, which is the basic quality to become a strong person. Well, however, although Pluton Rayleigh is the world's first class powerhouse, but the ability to teach students is not so good. It's far worse than Teacher Kai. In just a few days, one stick church emission, Two sticks of church conquerors twine, sandbanked Sai Church's fruit awakening. Let Straw Hat Luffy instantly go from barely defeating the Emperor's level, rise to the ranks of the world's top powerhouses. In teaching apprentices, Teacher Kaido is definitely the number one in the pirate world. Pity, Teacher Kai is not here now, with the current strength of the hundred beasts. Add, even if the revolutionary army comes together, it may be difficult to land at Wanokuni. Can only let Pluton Rayleigh mistake the children. Fortunately, Straw Hat Luffy is not only taught by Pluton Rayleigh, the leader of the revolutionary army, Long, went into battle in person, as a dragon who has been called the most vicious criminal in the world by the world government for many years. Strength is without a doubt standing at the top of the world. And he who is the father of Straw Hat Luffy, of course, he will spare no effort to teach his own son. That's it, Straw Hat Luffy and Pluton Rayleigh, and biological father dragon, under the guidance of two top powerhouses, start practicing hard day in and day out, accompanying him to practice. There are Sabo and Sanji. The revolutionary army is still in the latent stage. The Holy Land Mary E. Joys has been quite lively recently. Of course, this hilarity has to be double quoted. The complete destruction of North Blue, after the fall of Sabadi and the destruction of Impel Down, once again slapped world government in the face. The five elders have been fired up many times. Even the mysterious Lord Im, was furious. Almost literally killed the five elders to vent their anger. The situation of the world government has deteriorated to a level never seen in the past 800 years. Worse than the Rocks era, 
Roger era. This is M's conclusion. Like that Joey boy was awake. The five elders are on fire, while yelling at the new Marine Marshal Ake Ainu. Let Ake Ainu quickly find a way to save the government's face, while starting to hold the World Summit. World Summit. That is, the meeting of the kings among the hundreds of countries that join the world government. Hundreds of kings will gather in the Holy Land of Mary E. Joys. Discuss where the world is going in the future. This conference, the theme does not need to be known. Add, there must be discussions on how to deal with the beasts pirates. The holding of the World Summit is an epic event. Even the world government had to send a large number of troops to protect the safety of the kings. At the same time, the safety of celestial dragons needs to be guaranteed even more. It has to be mentioned here. Mary E. Joyce is actually very large, to be precise, as the only city on the red line. The coverage area of Mary E. Joyce can be as large as you want, arguably the largest city in the world, not only among the five elders' office space rights. There are also Vegapunk's laboratory, the stronghold of the CP agency and so on. The palace where World Summit is held is actually located on the outskirts of Mary E. Joyce. Near the heart of Mary E. Joyce, there is an ancient city. Further down is the realm of the gods the dwelling place of the celestial dragons. Usually maintain the order and safety of celestial dragons, is the night of the gods. In special moments, Marine also needs to send high-end combat power to escort. Take this world summit as an example, Ake Ainu directly sent the new Admiral Virgo, and the Green Bull, who also has Admiral level strength, to marry E. Joys. The two came above the red line 5.4, under the green cow's feet. The originally scarlet land suddenly grew flowers and plants. Virgo glanced over and said meaningfully, is this your ability to control the growth of plants at will? Green Bull smiled casually, Yeah, I'm the Logia Forest Fruit Ability Forester. I'll tell you a secret, Mr. Virgo. I haven't eaten for three years. Virgo's eyes flashed. Although Lord Liu Oxing gave him the main task, is to inquire about the internal information of celestial dragons. But the rest of Marine's intelligence, of course, he had better know. Virgo asked calmly, If you haven't eaten for three years, how do you maintain your physical fitness? Green Bull said confidently, For things like physical fitness, you only need to absorb the nutrients in the enemy's body. Ha ha, Mr. Virgo, this is a bit similar to your phantom vampire's ability to absorb stamina. 257. The green cow, which is more extreme than Akai Nu, invented the Zoom Light. Add, Virgo's bat fruit, phantom species, and vampire form. Evolved under the influence of monster cells, in addition to the basic blood-sucking ability, it can also absorb people's physical strength. Even if he was scratched by Virgo, blood would flow out and his physical strength would also flow away. Before, in the competition between Virgo and Fugitora, Fugitora accidentally hit Virgo with a paw. Although the injury was minor, the loss of physical strength was not small. Much to Fugitora's horror and the green cow, the fruit of the Logia forest, it does not eat monster cells, but it also has the ability to absorb energy in the human body and feed itself back. This peculiar ability can be said to be unique in the pirate world. Also, this ability is also quite cruel. People who are sucked out of their bodies will undoubtedly become dry people. The death will be very tragic. This cruel killing method corresponds to the extreme character of Green Bull. I said earlier, Green Bull regards Ake Ainu Seikezuki as an idol and also upholds absolute justice. But to some extent, Green Bull is more extreme than Ake Ainu. 18. The justice of the Green Bull is to maintain the rule of the world government and to protect the justice of celestial dragons. In Green Bull's view, the stability of today's world depends on the rule of government and on the existence of celestial dragons. Celestial dragons are gods, and world government is a symbol of theocracy. Whoever dares to go against the world government is against God, must be mercilessly obliterated. Not only that, the Green Bull is to the commoners of those countries that have not joined the world government, also don't care at all. In the original, after Straw Hat Luffy defeated Kaido and carried the four emperors, add, the Green Bull arrives at Wanokuni, and he wants to catch Luffy the Straw Hat. He said to the warriors of Wanokuni who stood in his way, you Wanokuni, not a member of the world government, and not protected by Marine.35. In other words, I can take action against you. Unfortunately, as long as the Straw Hat Luffy can be captured, it doesn't matter if Wanokuni kills thousands of people because of it. The extreme and ruthless character of the Green Bull is evident. It's exactly the same as the Ake Ainu who bombarded the Ohara civilian ship. No, it's hotter and colder than Ake Ainu. Such an extreme character, with the powerful ability of forest fruit that contains infinite vitality and danger, for marine and world government hostile forces, by no means good news. Virgo's eyes narrowed quietly. In the depths of his pupils, a trace of icy killing intent flashed imperceptibly. Green Bull knew nothing about Virgo's killing intent. With a cynical and flirtatious attitude, he said with a smile, Mr. Virgo, if I have time, I will also compete with you. 35. Are you better at absorbing blood and physical strength, or am I better at absorbing nutrients? Green Bull laughed and said, I am very confident. After all, the endless forest is my helper. What is the most in this sea? The number one is, of course, sea water. And second, 
It must be a plant. All plants are Green Bull's partners and are controlled by Green Bull's abilities. The level of difficulty can be imagined. Even Virgo, whose strength has skyrocketed one after another, is extremely fearful in his heart. But Virgo's biggest advantage is that Green Bull doesn't know his true identity. Single-handedly, Virgo may have a hard time killing the Green Bull. But if it was a sneak attack, Virgo has sufficient self-confidence, and the Green Bull will be seriously injured if he doesn't die. Carefully hiding these thoughts, Virgo did not show any strangeness on his face, and said lightly, Add, there will be opportunities for us to learn from each other. Don't worry, Green Bull. Ha ha ha, then I can look forward to it. The Green Cow rubbed his palms and said excitedly, the two went to the holy place of Mary E. Joys. Soon, a knight of the gods came to meet them. The knights of the gods are the guards of the celestial dragons and also serve as the ruling body within the celestial dragons. If any celestial dragons commit crimes against other celestial dragons, they will also be punished. Under the leadership of the knights of god, Virgo and the green bull went straight into the ancient city or pan. Here, it was extremely close to the place where celestial dragons lived, the realm of the gods. Virgo could faintly feel. At the foot of this magnificent city that gathers the most precious treasures in the world, something terrible is hiding. Is it the national treasure of Mary E. Joyce that Lord Liu Oak Sing said? Actually, Virgo, who was the highest carder of the Don Quixote family, a long time ago, I heard about the national treasure of Mary E. Joyce from Do Flamingo. But Do Flamingo didn't reveal much to him. This great secret, even the top carders, Do Flamingo didn't tell the whole story. This shows the importance of this secret. Virgo took a deep breath and suppressed the fear in his heart. He has successfully penetrated into the heart of world government. 100% vigilance and composure must be maintained at all times. There can be no mistakes. Wanokini, the island of ghosts. In the laboratory, Liu Xing spent a lot of time. Finally, with the help of the system, the magnifying light and the reducing light were successfully developed. This is the magical product of the world of Diriman. Garrett and Shira Hashi, who were frolicking, immediately gathered around curiously. What is this? Add. The mermaid princess Shira Hashi, with her large, jewel-like navy blue eyes. Look at the two lamps in Liu Oxing's hands. Liu Oxing smiled slightly, a prop that can shrink Yamato. 323. Put Yamato to zoom out. Shira Hashi's eyes widened in surprise. Garrett was also surprised, but not as fussy as Shira Hashi. After all, being a maid by Liu Oxing's side for so long, she had long been accustomed to all the heaven-defying props her master had invented. The master is omnipotent and omniscient, that is, to rule the whole world is a matter of course. Garrett's little head has always held such a cognition. Seeing the big eyes of the two girls, Liu Xing does not pretend to be mysterious. I took out a lamp and took a picture of Shira Hashi. As the bright light shone on Shira Hashi, a wonderful scene happened. I saw Shira Hashi, who was originally more than 10 meters tall and had a huge body. The figure suddenly began to shrink. In the blink of an eye, it was only over one meter tall, less than two meters just like an ordinary human woman. The most intuitive performance, it was Grit who could only touch the tail of Shirahashi fish, the top of Shirahashi's head can now be touched. Wow wow, amazing. Garrett's eyes lit up. Can't wait to hug Shirahashi and rub it around. Karukyu, you're finally my age. Shirahashi is still a little confused. He stared blankly at his body at the moment. Look at Liu Oxing again. In her beautiful eyes, she could not help but subconsciously reveal a color of looking up to the gods. Lord Liu Oxing, is he a god? 258. Vegapunk's true face, Mirai Island Egghead, add, zoom in and zoom out on the lights to make Shirahashi and Garrett feel like magic. Like a curious baby, Garlock touched Shirahashi who had shrunk dozens of times in amazement. Liu Xing looked at the two women with a smile. Just about to speak, the phone rang. Liu Xing raised his eyebrows, his body moved slightly, and he quietly went out of the hall. Master Liu Xing, regarding the national treasure of celestial dragons, my subordinates have not received any news yet. On the other side of the phone bug, it was Virgo's voice that came. It's no wonder Liu Oxing is so cautious. After all, Virgo has now become Marine Admiral, one of his most important pawns in the Marine and World Government. However, my subordinate unintentionally received another important person's information. Who? That is the scientist who is as famous as you, and who claims to have 500 years of wisdom beyond the world. Vegapunk, Liu Oxing was slightly moved. Vegapunk, he's been quite curious too. Although Liu Oxing invented a series of heaven-defying things such as weirdo cells and fairy beans, his technological capabilities are definitely far above Vegapunk. But Vegapunk has been famous for decades after all, and it is extremely mysterious, and it is said to be miraculous. For ordinary people, both Liu Oxing and Vegapunk are godlike figures, and it's no surprise that they are considered equals. Add, same, Liu Oxing never underestimated Vegapunk. After all, even as a time traveler, he has never seen the true face of Vegapunk. Now, is there finally a chance? Virgo's voice continued from the phone bug. Vegapunk, originally did not live in the red line, but in New World, on a future island called Egghead on the Sun Zodiac. New World, Future Island, Egghead. Liu Xing muttered these few words, 
his eyes flickering. You're doing well, Virgo. Hang up the phone. Liu Xing immediately decided to go to the so-called Future Island. Get to know the true face of the legendary Vegapunk. But, before going to Future Island, Liu Xing went back to say Buddy Archipelago. I'm at Jewelry Bonnie, a woman with a big stomach. This woman has a beautiful face and an exaggerated figure. The most distinctive feature is her red lips like a heart. What are you doing here? Jewelry Bonnie didn't look good when he saw Liu Oxing. Although Liu Oxing rescued her from Blackbeard, he also imprisoned her in Seibadi. The Bonnie, this is undoubtedly from the wolf's den to the tiger's mouth, and naturally Liu Oxing does not have the slightest favor. Liu Oxing didn't take it seriously, and said lightly, Ad, would you like to meet Vegapunk? What, you know where Vegapunk is? Bonnie's face suddenly became anxious. She took a step forward and grabbed Liu Oak Sing's arm suddenly. You didn't lie to my old lady. Did you really know where that bastard is? Sure enough, you care about Vegapunk because he turned your father into a slave of the Celestial Dragons. Liu Oak Sing's flat tone once again made Bonnie's face change drastically. You dot 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 how do you know this? Immediately, Bonnie shook his head fiercely, gritted his teeth and said, It doesn't matter that much. Now that you know it. Take my old lady to see Vegapunk. Since Liu Oxing came here, he naturally had this intention. He hugged Bonnie's slender waist politely, and sent him into his arms. Immediately afterwards, he opened any door and walked inside. Bonnie, who was suddenly embraced by Liu Oxing, felt uncomfortable. Although she has a carefree personality, she usually doesn't care much about the defense between men and women, and she has never been a woman. But it was the first time to be so close to a man. In the past, Bonnie would have been furious and would have chopped up anyone who dared to eat her tofu. But now she couldn't. Not to mention whether you can beat Liu Oxing. Even if she can fight, she can't do that now that she has to ask Liu a crossing. Unlucky old lady, I took advantage of you. Bonnie thought bitterly in his heart. Add, Liu Oxing was on his way, feeling the smoothness of the delicate skin at his fingertips, and the beautiful figure of the beauty in his arms. I have to say that Bonnie is quite promising. Even without direct measurement, Liu Oxing could feel that Bonnie definitely surpassed it. The other end of any door. Of course, is not Future Island. Because Liu Oxing has not obtained the specific coordinates of Future Island, there is no way to use any door to shuttle directly. What he came to was the island closest to Future Island, which belonged to the Hundred Beasts. Speaking of today's new world, most of the islands belong to the Hundred Beasts. The Whitebeard Pirates fell apart, and the remnants of the Whitebeard Pirates headed by Mark also joined Liu Oxing. The Red Hair Pirates lost the backbone of Beckman and could only barely protect themselves in New World. New Amaha. As for the ant group that is allied with the Hundred Beasts group, there is no need to say more. The New World seems to be dominated by the Hundred Beasts. Therefore, with Virgo's information, Liu Oxing mobilized his staff and quickly determined the specific coordinates of Future Island. He didn't take a boat, he hugged Bonnie directly, and flew towards the Future Island from the sky. Hoo hoo hoo. The sound of the wind howling in the ear was extremely fast. Bonnie, who was tightly attached to Liu Oxing's body, couldn't help thinking in shock. This guy is really a monster. He just flew over with Moonwalk, can't he run out of stamina? Not long after, a strange island full of countless novelties appeared in the eyes of Liu Oxing and Bonnie. Egghead, the island of the future, has arrived. 259 Bonnie is curious, the meeting of the two strongest brains in the world. Add, there are many ferocious sea beasts in the surrounding waters of Future Island Egghead. These are all inventions of Vegapunk, through special technical means. These sea beasts can be controlled. Also, on the shore of the island. There is a huge cosmic monster. That gigantic body and terrifying appearance are enough to make ordinary people feel intimidated and dare not approach. It's just that all this is like nothing to Liu Oxing. He put his arms around Jewelry Bonnie, walked through the air, and walked straight to the center of the island. Ho 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 ho. Sea beasts screamed threateningly. But before they approached, they were shocked by the conqueror's coercion spontaneously exuded from Liu Oxing's body, and his whole body trembled, his eyes showing infinite fear. It's scary. Who is that man? The arrival of Liu Oxing naturally quickly attracted the attention of the people on Egghead Island. After all, this technology island is full of various defense and surveillance technologies. Any intruder will be detected immediately as soon as he steps into Egghead. Who cares who he is? Since he dares to invade here, he should become my mother's plaything. A young woman wearing a strange tights said with an evil face, Master Lilith, I'm afraid this man won't be as easy to deal with as the previous intruder. 430. Next to the guard body type, the young woman was named Lilith. Looking at the surface. Most people would think that she exists as an independent individual. But in fact, she is Jake, Ad, one of the six clones of Vegapunk, to be exact. Turn out to be, Vegapunk used technology to divide himself into six parts because he felt that he didn't have enough time. That is Lilith representing evil, Sacrum Uni representing integrity, Edison representing thought, Pythagoras representing wisdom, Atlas representing rage, and York representing desire. The six avatars represent different emotions, each focusing on their own affairs so as to improve the efficiency of doing things. I have to say that Vegapunk is really a genius, 
but he can think of this method. He is really a technological madman, or it is not an exaggeration to call him a scientific madman. After all, if it is Liu Oxing, it is absolutely impossible to separate his emotions and create a clone. Because in that case, wouldn't the fun of living on the body be gone? What's more, his wife Yamato, Xiozi, Rebecca, Viola, Hancock, Robin, Nami, Tashigai, Mo Mausagi, Garrett, etc. There are so many beautiful and lovely girls waiting for Liu Oxing. Liu Oxing will let them empty guard the boudoir. Gossipless. Lilith, who only said that represents the evil side of Vegapunk, ordered to the huge space monster in the sky, take care of the two intruders for my old lady. The huge cosmic monster moved. In front of it, Liu Oxing and Bonnie are like two insignificant ants. Bonnie was taken aback. That bastard Vegapunk. Did he even create such a monster? She urged Liu Oxing. Hide quickly. You must not be hit by such a monster. Liu Oxing looked calm, and said lightly, It's okay, this cosmic monster is just a holographic projection, it doesn't really exist here. Add, What? How do you know? Of the two sentences, the first one was naturally spoken by Bonnie, and the second one was a shocked Lily. In the astonished eyes of the crowd, Liu Oxing passed through the body of the huge cosmic monster indifferently, and successfully landed on the island of Agad. Lily felt as if she was facing a formidable enemy, and she didn't dare to underestimate Liu O-Crossing. Who are you? Why do you know about the technology of holographic projection? It should not have appeared in the outside world. Back, many technologies on Future Island have never been seen by the outside world, and holographic projection is one of them. Liu O-Crossing smiled slightly. There's nothing special about this technology, it's just choosing some optics. Although Liu Oxing has never manufactured holographic projection equipment, with his current level of technology, it is easy to recognize a technology similar to holographic projection. It will not take much effort to manufacture. Lilith, who represents evil, was even more shocked. And what followed, Liu Oxing's words made her even more stunning. Okay, Vegapunk, although your avatar is very interesting, let's take me to meet your main body. Lilith took two steps back in shock her eyes showing disbelief. Impossible. How do you know that I am a clone? Why do you know so much? Could it be that you were sent by the world government? To know. The secret of Vegapunk is one of the top secrets of the world government. If Virgo hadn't become Marine Admiral and entered the Holy Land Mary E. Joys, otherwise Liu Oxing would not have easily known these secrets. To Tilda, add. At this time, the communicator next to Lilith Seer suddenly rang. An old voice sounded. Lilith, bring them in. You can't deal with this man. He he he. In fact, even the old man has to bow down in front of him. Lilith immediately understood something when she heard the words. Her body suddenly shook, and she stared at Liu Oxing in disbelief. Could it be that dot 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 you belong to the hundred beasts? Lilith didn't continue, but obviously already knew Liu Oxing's identity. She stopped talking nonsense and turned to lead the way. Come with me. Liu Oxing and Bonnie followed. Along the way, Liu Oxing watched the various technologies on the island with great interest. What automatic clothes changing machines, waste recycling dogs unmanned cooking machines, etc., are quite interesting. And beside Bonnie, compared with the eagerness to meet Vegapunk before, I am now more curious about the meeting between Liu Oxing and Vegapunk. After all, even she knows. The man beside him, and that strange old man, are definitely the two smartest brains in the world. When such two brains meet together, what kind of sparks will they collide with? It's quite curious. Dot. 265 Elders is determined to obliterate Vegapunk. The Green Bull is on the move. Add. While Lily took Liu Oxing and Bonnie to meet Vegapunk, Sanctuary Mary E. Joys, Palace of the Five Elders, five old guys are also talking about Vegapunk Tilda. It is said that Vegapunk has researched to the point of ancient energy. Perhaps, he even knows some real secrets about the ancient kingdom. It must not be allowed to go on like this. That is absolute taboo knowledge. No one can touch it. A hundred years of history involving the ancient kingdom, involving the blank is the top secret of the world government. Whoever knows this will be erased. Just like the Ohara scholars who were obliterated by Buster Call back then. Five elders with swords said, What? Do you want to erase Vegapunk? Old Whitebeard said, Of course. Since it is possible to know the forbidden knowledge, no one can escape the faith of being wiped out. The other three five elders agree. The sword-wielding old man hesitated and said, However, if there is no Vegapunk's mind, we may be even more stretched in the face of the endless new technologies of the beast's son-in-law. As soon as this remark came out, the audience fell silent. Now, Liu Oxing has long been the most troublesome existence for five elders. Especially Liu Oxing's various heaven-defying inventions made him even more anxious, and there was even a trace of fear in his heart. Facing those heaven-defying inventions, on the world government side, only Vegapunk can barely cope. If Vegapunk is obliterated, what should the world government do in the future? Add, HMPH. It doesn't matter if there is no Vegapunk, Lordim will make a move. The old man Whitebeard suddenly said heavily, Yes, Lordim will make a move. What is the son-in-law of a hundred beasts, and Vegapunk is even more insignificant. As long as Lordim is around, 
the world government will last forever. Master Im, an invincible existence. The five elders are equivalent to Im's domestic servants, and they have supreme piety and belief in Im. In their view, Master Im is omnipotent and omniscient. Then kill Vegapunk. Finally, five elders, backed by M, are determined to kill Vegapunk. Who will be sent on this mission? Green Bull, as the highest combat power of Marine, just look at his true weight. Number 7. Originally, for such secret assassination missions, five elders usually let the CP organization do it. But Vegapunk is different, and it must not be underestimated. Ordinary CP organizations may not even see Vegapunk. And CP0, the highest organization of the CP organization, was almost exhausted in the war with the Hundred Beasts. Therefore, it is also a helpless move to send out the Green Bull. Of course, there is another important reason. That is, the Five Elders know that the Green Bull is absolutely loyal to the world government and absolutely believes in the world order under the rule of the Celestial Dragons. Inside Pangu City, Green Bull is having a drink with Virgo. Add, Celestial Dragon's wine is different. Good wine, good wine. The Green Ox laughed out loud, unrestrained. Virgo is expressionless, even if the spirits are introduced, his facial expression is not moved. The Green Bull said with admiration, Mr. Virgo, you are really amazing. You can't feel such a strong drink. Virgo didn't feel nothing. It's just that he has been undercover in Marine for a long time and he has long been used to not showing sex, especially now that you are in the Marine Admiral and still in the Mary E. Joys, you need to be more cautious from time to time, there can be no omissions. Toot. At this time, Green Bull's phone rang. The Green Bull picks up, ah. I understand, I understand, I'll do it now. Green Bull hung up the phone, stood up, and sighed, alive again. Virgo asked calmly. Middle dot zero for flowers. What, is there any task? Do you want my help? The Green Bull smiled confidently, no. It's just a trivial matter, but it's really interesting to erase the world's number one scientist. Goodbye, Monsieur Virgo. A four-leaf clover suddenly grows from the back of the green cow, then it rose into the sky and disappeared into the sky in a blink of an eye. Virgo frowned. Erase the world's number one scientist. Add, the current number one scientist in the world is undoubtedly his loyal master, Lord Liu O'Crossing. But the green bull is obviously not referring to Lord Liu O'Crossing. Just kidding. With the strength of the green bull, how could it be possible to hurt Master Liu O'Crossing at all? Dot 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 zero. The Green Bull is talking about Vegapunk. The world government wants to kill Vegapunk. And Master Liu Oxing, who received his information, should be at Vegapunk right now. TSK TSK, poor Green Cow. I hope he won't run into Lord Liu O'Crossing. Virgo thought gloatingly. Immediately, he sent the message that the Green Bull was going to kill Vegapunk to Liu O'Crossing. Future Island Egghead. Liu Oxing and Virgo have a set of secret communication tools. Liu Oxing quickly received the message. Green Bull. Liu Oxing scanned the name and then forgot it. With his current strength. If it is Sengoku and Gop, he still has a bit of fear. The shame of the Admiral of the Green Bull is completely gone in his eyes. After a while, Vegapunk's true identity is finally revealed. This is an apple-headed old man sticking out his tongue. He looks very funny, but in those old eyes, there is obviously infinite wisdom. Old man Vegapunk, I have admired Lord Liu Oxing's reputation for a long time. I wonder if I can join Lord Liu Oxing's command with my superficial knowledge. Just met. Even Liu Oxing was shocked by Vegapunk's first sentence. Dot. If you like this audiobook, subscribe the channel for more videos like this and join my Patreon if you want to support me. Leave some comment and let me know if you guys like this story, or you have a web novel you like and want to hear its audiobook. I will be happy to create them for you. Please like, share, and leave a comment on the video.